lights out. When I got out of the service, that overwhelming feeling of like anxiety and not really knowing what to do, not really knowing where to go, I really had no guidance. And so um, I was left to my, my own destruction, actually. This is Michael Person's second time in jail for drug-related theft since he left the military five years ago. And it's pretty different from the last. Good morning, guys. This time, Michael is doing? one of 25 uh, inmates that's... in a new experimental veterans-only housing unit. Do you remember when you first joined the unit? I walked in here and, um, you know, guys that I didn't even know were coming up to me and, you know, do you need this, do you need that? We all signed that paper to defend this country. That in itself, I think, carries a huge amount of weight in, in the way this unit works. The unit is meant to do two things. Give vets the kind of hyper-structured setting they got used to in the military, and provide treatment they needed but may not have sought out when they left the service. There is a form you would need to fill out to request VA medical records. Uh, would you like that? There are mandatory group therapy sessions, PTSD treatments, regular visits from the VA, and motivational speakers. Now, I could never fully appreciate how much a single event could change a person's life until I was 27 years old, and a single bullet taught me that lesson. I'll tell you what, in, in seven months, this place has completely uh, just changed the way I, I go about situations. It's helped me learn is that like help is okay. I pushed that help away for so long or I didn't know it existed and it's led me continuously to addiction or these kinds of places. Humvee isn't the only veterans unit in the country. There are 38 at the moment, but it's one of only a few that take the therapy aspect so seriously. In a perfect world, there'd be customized programs like this for all prisoners. But vets are an easier sell. People want to help them. And I come from a family that really respected veterans and served. So I immediately thought there would be something that I should consider in a way to honor our veterans. How you doing, man? How you doing? Everything good? How are they going to do that? They're gonna, they're Sheriff gonna Peter Katujan started the Humvee unit two years ago. After running his inmate list against a national VA database, and learning he had 63 veterans at the jail, more than three times as many as he thought. How was it for you? The program relies almost entirely on volunteers. It only cost the jail the price of one full-time staff member. The goal is um, to address the factors that led people to be incarcerated, to make them better when they leave than when they came in, so that we never have to see them again. So is it transferable to other populations if you're able to identify them in the way you can identify veterans? Absolutely. We're starting another unit in here for young adult offenders, those from 18 through 24. 117 inmates have been released after spending at least a month in the Humvee program, and only five have been arrested again. If that holds up, it will be significantly lower than the three-year recidivism rate in the rest of the state, which is almost 70%. You ever read this? I have not. Professor William Brown is a okay. Vietnam vet who provides expert testimony in crimes committed by veterans. He thinks more jails should be offering targeted treatment for vets. The majority of these problems that the veterans have, they didn't create the problems. They volunteered to join the military and they're 18, 19. <laughs> you know, what did they know about where they were going? The military takes three to four months to condition people to serve in the military. How much time were they given to condition to come back into the civilian world? A lot of these programs, though, try to recreate what these veterans had in the military. You're recreating the problem to begin with. They're already locked into the military culture. They don't need to see the Humvee on the wall. We're not recruiting them into the military. In a way, you're recruiting them into the civilian world. Michael is about to find out if he's ready for that world. One of the perks of the Humvee unit is that it tends to help inmates get paroled sooner. After eight months in jail, Michael is set to be released any day now. It's been a learning experience for me. This place has truly saved my life, and uh, I'm just ready. I'm, re I'm ready to move on. I'm going to go out to lunch with my brother and my mother, and squeeze the life out of them because um, I miss them to death.
and then I'm gonna go to the VA program that I'm already accepted to and uh, make that first phone call to my therapist to let her know that I'm out and uh, go from there.